Hey, it's Jared with Circuit Dojo. I have on my desk here a great example of what I use wire wrap for. It's a Nordic 528032 Bluetooth development board coupled with a Silicon Labs AMW007 Wi-Fi development board. As you can see, I've made all the important connections between these two that is necessary for proper communication and for power control. The process of this, to make these connections is relatively simple. I'm gonna use an old OK Machine Tool Corp speed wrap gun here. Uh, I'm gonna use my strippers, my handy strippers, and I'm gonna be using this 30 gauge wire wrapping wire. First thing is making sure that your circuitry is not powered. This is an easy way to destroy any type of circuitry that you're working on is to start making connections while it's still powered. First thing, if you just saw, I just stripped this guy out about an inch, inch and a half. You don't want it to be much longer than the shaft of, of the uh, wire wrap tool that you're using. So, next, as I put this into, there's two holes in here. You might not be able to see it with the camera. There's, there's a bigger hole and a smaller hole. You want to make sure you put it in the smaller hole. That's the one that's actually meant for the wire wrap wire. The bigger hole is actually meant for a, a header. So I'm going to be placing the, the wire wrap gun into the bigger hole on this on this header right here. Now what you want to do is you want to, at least for this gun, is that you want to provide light pressure but not force it. If you force it, what will happen is the, the wire will kind of wrap over itself in kind of a circular fashion. You kind of want the wire to wrap up the pin rather around itself. So if I, if I force it down, you can kind of see you can kind of see it's kind of wrapped wrapped over itself rather than up the pin itself. So the easy easiest fix for that is to restrip this guy. It just provides some light pressure. So let me see if I can show you guys. Right here you can see that the, the right one, the one the first one I just did, is kind of crumpled on itself. The one on the left on the left here is actually much longer. It goes right up the pin. If you make it too long, I don't know if you guys can see it in the video, but there's also a little twig here sticking out. And those are generally bad. You want to get rid of that guy. You can use your right angle cutters. You use your right angle cutters and snip it away. Now this process can be repeated on the other side uh, to make any connections between pins on boards. You might want to use thicker, thicker wire wrap wire if you're making power connections, something that's going to be delivering a lot more current. But for the most part, in these embedded situations, this wire wrap situation is easy peasy. That's it for this video. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you found this video useful. Also hit that subscribe button while you're there. There will be plenty of videos like this coming up soon. Thanks for watching.